going on, YouTube fans? It's your boy, the beautiful black man, Brian Jesus, back in here on the YouTube video on the secret to getting women. Before I get into that video, guys, don't forget to one, like the video. Don't forget to comment below, guys, and tell what you guys believe is the secret or correct approach to obtaining women in the modern day. Don't forget to cop some King Camara and Brian Jesus and other type of t-shirts off my websites. The link will be in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys more content on a regular basis. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So guys, one of my most favorite games of all time is Pokemon. Pokemon has been one of my most favorite video game franchises for like the better part of 20 something years, so 25 years. And there's some good life principles you can apply to life that you can learn from Pokemon. So I said earlier about how to get an acquirement in the modern day, but this is pretty much the strategy that's kind of worked for like all of eternity, right? So in Pokemon, for example, the hardest thing you can do is, is catch one Pokemon. You don't have any Pokemon, it's really hard to catch that one, that very first Pokemon. But once you catch one Pokemon, it's easier to catch a second Pokemon. Once you catch a variety of Pokemon, it's easier to catch almost any Pokemon that you want. And that's essentially how women work when it comes to approaching a woman. We don't have a woman, right? If you're desperate for a girl and you don't have no women in the, in, the, in, the, in the roster and you got nothing in the clip or something like that, and it's your very first time you can deal with a woman, you have very low leverage, you'll probably be nervous, and the woman can kind of sense that, right? She knows that she's dangerous, you know what I mean? She knows that she could beat you up and there's not much you can do. You're vulnerable, right? But if you go out into the wild and Pokemon, you gotta go a team of six, right? Even if it's a legendary Pokemon, see it's like an apex putter, like one of those Instagram models, stuff like that, you have a better chance of catching that legendary Pokemon because you got six other Johns in the chamber and probably a bunch of other Pokemon back in the PC. Makes sense? On top of that, you can develop the right type of strategy and the right balance because like, okay, say it's like a legendary Pokemon, it's a Psychic type or it's a Dragon type. You can customize your team to approach that Pokemon directly and maybe the certain things you learn from acquiring a certain Pokemon that you have in your squad will help you better approach this specific woman. Maybe this woman's not going to be Pokemon, it's a specific kind of Pokemon that you want, but from your knowledge and filling out your Pokedex, you know how to approach this specific woman. All right, the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can, of course, similar, you carry six Pokemon at a time, but if all your Pokemon fake in battle, you still, like, lose automatically. Like, the Pokemon can still attack you, but if you die, right, you have your Pokemon in battle, if you get hit too much, then you lose, you know, you're gonna get sent back. You're gonna faint, you're gonna go to the hospital. But if you always got Pokemon you can to defend you, your, your chances are gonna all, always increase. Your chances will always increase once you have Pokemon with you, right? You can still catch Pokemon in that game with no Pokemon in your party, but it becomes more difficult. It becomes far more risky. It becomes far more challenging. But if you already have Pokemon, aka women, on the squad, right? <laughs> on the deck, locked and loaded, you can approach the women accordingly and more safely. And the ironic part about it is, is that, you know, women are, there's attractions for a man kind of based off of like social proof. You ever notice how thousands, if not millions of women were like falling over Justin Bieber or the Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or One Direction or Usher or whoever, you know what I mean? But you don't see guys like, you know, waving signs like marry me Beyonce at a Beyonce concert. That's not how it works, right? Women love a pre-selected, already verified man. That's how it works, right? So if women see you with already selected verified Pokemon, right? Then to be like, should be more willing to get part of your program. It was like, well, this guy has like a Dragonite and a Mewtwo, you know, and a Gyarados, or whatever kind of Pokemon like you know, on your team, well, this guy's verified, you know? But if you got like a Pidgey and a Rattata, where you got nothing, you can't get a Pidgey and a Rattata, then why is this Pidgeotto, this Charizard, this Venusaur, this Bulbasaur, in the wild gonna come and join your team. I mean, it's possible, right? Let's say you pull one of these arches, you can like set a trap, you can throw some berries, you can throw some food, you can buy the strategy, right? To find out how to correctly catch the Pokemon team. Even without having a Pokemon in your party, but it's very risky. If this Pokemon catches you, it catches on what you're doing, it's gonna be over. So that's gonna wrap up my video on the secret to catching, I'm sorry, acquiring women, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment below, guys, and, and tell me 
you know, other parables, other lessons, or the proper strategy you have to leave it to acquiring women in the modern day. Don't forget to cop some t-shirts off my websites. The link will be in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue you guys more confident on a regular basis. It's your boy, Brian Mises, the beautiful black man. I will see you guys next time.